Hello everyone, my name is Mark and welcome to a new FIFA 23 tactics video on my channel. Uh, I'm going to show you the best way to play with the Spanish club Real Madrid, all in my opinion of course, based on my own playstyle. So I just want to say that it is not a guarantee that you will win with this if you are playing this formation. Maybe it will help you to play better and maybe it will help you win of course, but I just want to say that it is not a guarantee win. It's just all about your own skills as well. Of course, um, but I'm doing my best to help you guys uh, with formation videos, tactic videos, tutorial videos. So if you appreciate that, I will really appreciate it if you would leave a like on this video. It will help my videos to rank higher on YouTube and help my channel to grow. And if you're new to the channel, I want to find your way back really easy. Make sure you are subscribed with notifications on. All right, you can see me playing here in online seasons with Real Madrid against Barcelona. And this guy was really frustrated. He already had a red card and he also get a second red card at the end of the match but we were winning with five goals against two so a really amazing result this was one of the results that i had with this formation because it is a bit weird formation maybe it's the five two three formation so five at the back sounds really defensive uh maybe it is but it's also playing really really attacking i'm just trying to do some quick counter attacks with this formation and it worked really beautiful all right the lineup Courtois is the goalkeeper Valverde I'm using him as the right defender uh, three center backs Militao Rudiger and Alaba and Mendy is the left defender and then we have Modric and Chouameni as the central midfielders and I know what question is coming why are you not playing Kroos because I'm getting this question all from FIFA 18 or something I never use Kroos Gross because in my opinion he's way too slow he only has about 50 pace or something I don't know exactly but for me he is just too slow and that is the reason why I'm not playing him uh, Modric is already a pretty attacking player and in the other one uh, Chouameni in this case needs to be more defensive and also pretty fast he doesn't have to be 90 pace because these players are not uh, existing in fifa in online seasons but 70 pace is good for a defensive midfielder to catch up with the fast attackers from your opponent and the fast midfielders uh Kroos, you could use him as a sub of course i did that as well in this uh video that you in the goals that you saw in that match i used him as a sub but not from the start all right by saying that let's go to the right ringer rodrigo of course benzema of course the striker and vinicius jr of course the left winger no surprises there i think all right defensive style use it on drop back with a width of 40 and a depth of 40 i already said this is maybe a bit a bit defensive but you are really secure in the defense with the three three center backs and with the drop back everybody is coming back so uh, you are really secure in the defense with this formation and then at the offense you can surprise your opponent with the fast build-up and the forward runs you have the fast wingers with Rodrigo and especially Vinicius Jr. he is super fast of course and yeah, you can surprise your opponent really with making the good runs and yeah uh, yeah you can create some really good quick counter attacks the width is 50 uh plays in the box four bars corners of free kicks both two bars then we're going to the instructions maybe the most uh, uh yeah important part of the video um uh, valverde overlap run type that's the only thing i changed so balanced attack so he can go forward if he wants he is not doing that all the time but if he can he can go forward so he's not staying back so on the attack it can be pretty attacking all the center backs are just default and for Mendy the same as Valverde run type overlap and balanced attack so he can go forward um, then we have Modric I have him just default Chouameni also just default uh, then we're going to Rodrigo stay forward cut inside get in behind these are the three things that I changed. Then we have Benzema. Only thing I changed for him is support runs on a stay central. And the other thing, defensive support, stay forward. And Vinicius Jr. stay forward, good inside, and get in behind. The same as Rodrigo. So all the three attackers are staying forward, and all the other players are coming back with the drop back tactics. So when you have the ball, you could pass it to one of the midfielders or to the left or the right defender, and then 
searching for your running forward, especially Vinicius Jr. He is so fast, making good runs. You can create lovely chances with that. All right, by all of saying that this is the end of this video, please try it out yourself. Let me know in the comments what you think of it or what your results are. I'm really curious about that. And hopefully we will see you next time. Have a great day. Bye bye.